speed, God gives you confidence, security, and peace. We do not need to fight because God is telling you, relax. Wow, ito maganda kasi. Relax, calm. Diba? Pastor Rolly, uh, Ruin, relax, calm. God will establish the LGM Jubel and see the salvation of the Lord. Will you allow God to solve your problems in your life? Spend time with God through prayer and fasting. Ito the best, prayer and fasting. Second Chronicles 20.20 They rose early in the morning, went out in the wilderness of Tekoa, and when they went out, Jesus stood and said, Hear me, Judah, inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord, your God, and you will be established. Believe His prophets, and you will succeed. The more intimate you are with God, the less you pray with your problem. When you are intimate with God, your victory is ano, answered by prayer. Ang galing nga ulitin natin, ha? English kasi eh. Pag the more intimate ka, hindi ka mag-uuri ng problem mo. Kunting mo lang ipag-break, ikaw nang bala dyan sa problema ko. Ano? You secured victory. Ibig sabihin, talaga. Sagot na ng Lord. Palakbakan nga natin, Panginoon, si Diyos. Okay, 2 Chronicles chapter 22, verse 23. Malapit na tayo, Brad. Last three minutes. And when they began to sing and praise, the Lord set an ambush against men of Ammon, Moad and Mount Ser, who had come against Judah, so that they were rooted for the men of Ammon and Moab rose against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, devoting them to destruction, and they had made end of the inhabitants of Seir. They all helped to destroy one another. Itong maganda sa Lord. Pag okay ang heart mo, pag okay ng Lord, no? may mga kalaban ka sa company, di ba? sa buhay mo, okay naman ang heart mo eh. Huwag ka masaktan doon. Pag tinitira ka nila sa likod, sa company, Huwag ka masaktan kasi okay ang heart mo eh. Trabaho ko sa kampan eh. Kahit anong aspito ng buhay. Pag okay ang heart mo, don't expect that all people will tell you all positive. They will give you negative. Kasi yun ang nangyari sa akin eh. Wala dito si Brad Felix eh. Di ba? I give everything. But this is negative. Kaya pag yung kinumpran ko yung isang kapatid, hindi ko lang banggitin yung pangalan. Ano ang hindi ko natulong sa iyo, bro? Sabi niya wala. Eh bakit dinaritso mo yung problema mo sa general manager? Ako yung project manager mo eh. Hindi pa ba? Kasi sa sulat niya din sa project mali, wala raw ako may ginawa sa kanya. Sabi ko ito yung proposal mo. Approve. Ito dinagdagan ko lang. Ito lahat. Approve lahat yun. Ang company walang car. Sabi ko sa kanya, ito. Binigay ko lahat. Pero alam niyo mga kapatid, you don't worry. When you are intimate with God, God knows your heart. Ito ang sinasabi na dito. The one destroy you. Sinasabi ito ng Lord eh. Pag okay naman yung heart mo eh. Bakit maligalig ka? Sana yung sinasabi ng iba. Di ba? Hindi ka po guilty. Diretso ka sa Lord sa paglilingkod. Wala makakapigil sa iyo. Diba? Kung okay naman ang heart mo sa company mo, diretso ka mag-serve sa company. Diba? Of course, ilain ka talaga eh. Bakit? Kukunin nila ang position mo eh. Yan ang pakaganda ang position mo ah. Pero ulitin ko ulit, it's not a matter of what the blessing right now. Because it's a matter, meron kang intimate sa Lord eh. May sinasabi niya po dito eh. Ang kalaban ng Israelite, nagrambulan sila. Yan ang gagawin ng Lord sa atin. Lapit na kapatid, do you realize that God wants to fight for you? He cannot fight for you because you are trusting yourself in fighting for your own effort. You don't trust God. Di ba? God will not fight for you. Kasi ano, ginamit mo na yung lakas mo, efforts eh. To fight eh. Don't use your, your efforts, your talent. Let the Lord fight for you. Sabi na, trust God that He will do an amazing things in your life. God did this for Israel. Surely, He will do it for you. Just keep in praying, fasting, serving, and trusting everything. Ginawa niya sa Israel, gagawin din sa iyo. Mga kapatid, palakpakan nga natin, Panginoon. Kaya sabi dito, 2 Chronicles 20.25, when Jews have had that these people came to take the spoil, they found among them in great numbers good clothing and precious things which they took for themselves until they could carry no more. They were three days in taking the spoil. Wasumat, ganun pala.
pag malalim ang intimate mo sa Diyos, mayroong kang time nag efforts ka, ano? Ito yung ginawa mo, someday ano, you will reap harvest. Di ba? Harvest ka. Maybe promoted ka na vice president. Oh, Brad Cesar, dito ka na. Ikaw ang electrical manager. Master John, dito ka na. Ikaw ang head ng civil. Ikaw, Brad, uh, awakan mo, Brad Elmer Painting. Kasi ano, sinir mo na yung blessing ng Lord. Sabi nito, you get the all spoiled eh. Ganun ang gagawin ng Lord eh. Psalm 34 verse 10, The young lion suffer one in hunger, but those who seek the Lord have no good thing. One of my favorite. Ikaw, hindi ka na magsisik. Siya na, siya na satisfied na sa iyo eh. Kahit gutom ka, <laughs> Lord, okay ka na Lord, hindi na ako maghanap, ikaw lang. Amen? Palakpakan na natin, Panginoon. When you seek the Lord, He will give you every good things in not lacking. The history of one pastor, nakatapos lang ng seminary, Sabi na punta ka doon, pagdating walang pira sila eh, yung mag-asawa eh. Sabi na kan, bayad ka 600. Eh wala sa nga pa, sa mandi na, sabado yun eh. Naku, sandi, punta sa doon sa old church. Naku, nakita niya yung seminary niya ng classmate. Palagi binibigyan siya ng pira, binabalik niya naman. Naku, ito na Lord. Hallelujah. Naku, dumahan yung offering boxes sa seminary na Lord. Huwag yung cheque. Brad, hindi nga binigay doon sa cheque. Pagkatapos, Sir Ben, oh Brad, Pastor, binigay yung cheque. Alam mo magkano ng amount? The same amount. Palakpakan nga natin, Panginoon. The same amount. Our God is faithful and real. He answers prayer. Our God is not myth. Hindi ito yung parang katang isip. He's real. Allow Him to work in your life through prayer and fasting. You can develop your intimacy with God. Rapid na. Last one minute, Psalm 34 verse 8. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who take refuge in Him. Question, is Lord God? Until you taste the Lord, you will see His goodness. Taste mo siya sa pamagitan ng prayer and fasting. Psalm 16 verse 11, You know make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasure forevermore. Wow! Di ba? Fullness of joy. Hindi mo makita sa mundo yan. Ikaw ba, prinsi? Prinsipi ako! Nabili ako ganun. Wala yan. Walang joy doon. Yung problem na siguro nakahiga ka sa kwan. Pero dahil design ka ng Diyos, hahanapin mo pa rin siya. Kahit prinsipe ka pa eh, mabili mo lahat. Ito, sabi na rin David, in your presence, Lord, through prayer and fasting, there is fullness of joy. If you don't enjoy God, how you will enjoy Him in heaven? Pag hindi mo ngayon enjoy yung Lord, paano mo enjoy yung hintay natin? Some of you here, 30, 40 years, dead ball ka na. Di ba ako 40? Naku, Lord, 30 years na lang. Makita na tayo. I-enjoy ko na ngayon. Lord, i-enjoy ko na. I-enjoy mo na. Bakit hintayin mo yon? I-enjoy mo na. Enjoy the Lord. Hindi ba? Bakit hintayin po natin? Malapit na ito, Brad, ha? Last artisikan, last John Piper, sabi niya, we are half-hearted. Culture falling about drink and sex in ambition with infinite. Joy is offered for us. We are like ignorant children who want to continue making mud pies in a slum because we cannot imagine what this means by the offer of a vacation at the sea. We are far too easily pleased. Ang daling. Ang problema ng mga kristyano, matali ano, matangay na mundo. Sabi ng Lord dito, vacation dito, dito ka eh, dito Lord, ang vacation eh. Di ba? Sarap kasi eh. San Miguel Bell, Sadiki, Norris. Lahat ng bawal, yun ang gusto. Sila sabi ni Pai eh. Bakit doon ka na, wad yan, pai, ito ang binibigay ng Lord, no? Vacation in the sea. There is a perfect joy in come. That joy is temporary only. Don't be satisfied with mud pies. God has something better for you. Intimacy with God makes you main preoccupation and purpose in life as David say. Pwede ba? Pag-alis po natin. Sabi ko, hey Lord, ang gagawin ko ngayon, ay palagi na kita kita ko sa akin. Eh, makita ka ng mga asawa mo, ah, mga asawa, ng mga anak mo, ng asawa mo, ng mga, parang buwang si Pastor Uli, ah. buwang si Brad Elmer, ah. kita ko lang yung uh, Pastor Jan, diba, kita ni Brad Elmer, Pastor, ano yung ginagawa ng Pastor Jan? Ah, dumatawa, pray, wow, I mean, eh, ang sabi ng Lord, eh, a day in the house of the Lord is better than a thousand outside, eh. Sabi niya, pagalis natin, Lord, ang gagawin ko, major gagawin ko, i-develop ko intimacy with God. Last, sabi dito sa Psalm 27 verse 4, as David say, one thing I bask from the Lord that I may dwell in the house of the Lord 
in the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and meditate to His temple. Not necessarily, ito ang church. Even in your private room, it's considered a heart of God, a temple of God. Because your heart there, you want to see Him. You want to pray for Him. Eh. Diba? Kanya man lang, suportahan natin ang church. Ito yung pinaka main temple ng Lord. Meron tayong private, meron tayong main temple. Sabi dito ni David, gusto niya dito sa tanan niya. Para makita niya, Lord, kadakila. You need God's help. When you develop your intimacy with God through prayer and fasting, I believe your life will never be the same again. Subukan niyo mga kapatid. May wala ako, after three months, six months, kakaiba ka na. God will bless you over and above what you think. Don't settle for Jacobs, Pastor John. Settle for, ano, for Daniel. Rank number one eh. Diba? Ikaw. Diba, minsan, doon tayo nakatutok eh. Ito pala the best na ito, Jacobs. Sabi ng boss ni Pastor Romil, uh, Pastor uh, Ruben, bakit nagpapagawa ka recommendation? Ah, you're transferring for Daniel. No, 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 only. To prepare only. No problem. You, you bring me in Chile, ha? Uh, steakhouse? Kung no problem, Chile. Biro niya lang yun. Biro mabait yun. Ganun po. Pag tayo, dinibilop natin intimacy ng, ng Diyos to prayer and fasting, ang buhay natin kakaiba na. God will bless you over. What are you pursuing today? Are you pursuing your own agenda? You want, you are here to save money, pursue business, pursue yourself, or you want to develop your intimacy to prayer? Shall we bow our heads? Hallelujah. Palagpakan natin, Panginoon. Lord, over time na po kami, Lord, when ito Diyos, napakabuti mo sa aming buhay, O Diyos. So Lord, salamat sa iyong salita, O Diyos. Nawa, O Lord, ang iyong salita, O Lord, magbigay ito ng tulak sa amin, O Diyos. Mag-empower ito sa amin, O Lord. Nahanapin ka namin, O Lord, more than anything else, O Lord. More than the word, O Lord. More than the blessings, O Lord, that you give to me. Lord, salamat sa privilege ito, Lord. Sa pag-deliver ng iyong salita. Salamat sa buhay ng mga kapatid namin. Nag-exert ng efforts dumating sa English. As you have served the Lord, your labor, Lord, will not return in pain. We are here, O Lord, o Lord here to worship you. Also to develop our intimacy with you. Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Sa may mga sakit dito, Lord. Narito, Lord. Sabi mo, Lord, sa iyong salita. For by your stripe, we are healed. Kayo, Lord, ang gumalaw, Diyos. May sakit sa ulo. May sakit. Ano klaseng sal- sa- sa- sakit dito, Lord? Please, Lord, let your Holy Spirit, Lord, heal them, Lord. Panginoon, nahihirapan, o Lord, sa kanilang kabaho, Lord, give them wisdom, Lord. Nahihirapan, o Lord, sa kanilang relasyon, relationship, Lord, sa kanilang pamilya, Lord. Let you be the center of their love, Lord. Panginoon, hanapin ka namin, o Diyos, ka namin, o Diyos, sa aming buhay, o Lord. Not the material things of this world, o Lord, but you only, Lord. Panginoon, allow your people, Lord, to step up, Lord, through prayer and fasting, Lord. As we leave this place, Lord, let your word, Lord, empower and guide us. Panginoon, sa oras na ito, patuloy namin tinataas, o Lord, ang mga kapatid, Lord, na ang iyong mga na nilang desire, Lord, na madibilo pang intimacy nila, Lord, touch their hearts, O Lord. Sabi mo, Lord, sa nisa, if you draw near to me, you will draw near to us, Lord. Walang imposible, Lord. Lalapit ka sa kanila, O Diyos. Lalapit ka sa amin, O Diyos. Panginoon, salamat sa iyong salita, O Lord. Salamat sa araw nito, Lord. Mga kapatid na nagmamaniyo, kayong patuloy, Lord, magbigay ng maliksi, Panginoon. Reflexes, watchful eyes. Makarating ka, Lord, may balik nila, mga kapatid, sa kanilang kanyang-kanyang kaanan. Maging, Lord, naghain, O Diyos, makakaya namin physical Lord upang magamit Panginoon ito sa iyong kaluwatihan o Diyos may Lord magpala sa kanya Lord salamat maging Lord we pray for our overseer Lord Pastor Ramil I ask you Lord that you will you will enjoy Panginoon the blessings Lord that give by you Lord through Jacobs and protect them bless his family Lord bless him Lord Panginoon mga pastors nandito Lord sa Iglesia Pastor Ruben Pastor John Bigyan mo sila, Lord, ng spirit, Panginoon, spirito ng pag-ibig, Lord. Patience. Panginoon, higit sa lahat, Panginoon, pananampalataya sa Diyos. Mga board of deacons, lahat ng head. 
Bigyan ang pagpakumbaba ng buhok ng Diyos. Bigyan mo sila ng guide, Diyos. Ang aming verse, Lord, i-bless mo sila, Lord. Sampu ng kanilang mga pamilya, Diyos. Once again, Father, we thank you, Lord. And we give back to you all the glory, all the praises. In Jesus' name, we pray all bread, bread, say, Amen. Amen.